number 19 down from number 18 on my fancy playlist. Should have known better by Monica. Fancy playlist, October 9, 2004. Monica, the album was originally called All Eyes on Me. It came out in 2000, well, it was supposed to have come out in 2002. It was released in Japan, but the album was heavily bootlegged after it was released in Japan, and the internet file sharing services were kicking in, and uh, that delayed release of the album. The album was more or less reworked, and it was called After the Storm, a new title released in 2003 and uh, should have known better had come from that album. The uh, It paid off all this waiting to, uh, to remaking the album and putting it out under a new name. By 2010, by August 2010, man, check out this number. This album, After the Storm by Monica, her, Monica, her fourth album, so 1,023,000 copies as of 2010. It's probably sold more than that because this was this is almost five years ago four and a half years ago. Monica's known some tragedy. Uh, the Boy's Mind. Remember that song, The Boy's Mind? It was Monica and Brandy was on that record. That was really huge back in the summer, maybe the fall of 1998. She was going to start working on her next album after The Boy's Mind. She was going to start working on a new album in 2000, but tragedy intervened big time. Her boyfriend committed suicide. Her boyfriend was named Jarvis Weems. W-E-E-M-S. Weems, I believe is how you pronounce his name. What happened, they were standing at the graveside. Monica and Jarvis Weems were standing at the graveside of his brother, who had died in an automobile accident in 1998, I believe. He was 25. His brother and Javas pulled out a gun, put it to his head right there, shot himself. You can only imagine how Monica must have felt. I mean, it would have freaked anybody out. He had a daughter from a previous relationship, and Monica took her into her own care. So that caused sort of a delay. And she worked with her usual staple of producers like Dallas Austin. She worked with Jermaine Dupree and another fellow, I wrote his name down, Brian Michael Cox. Brian Michael Cox had uh, produced or at least worked on Burn and Confessions by Usher. Both of those hits in 2004 and Shake It Off by Mariah Carey, which came out in 2005. There it is. Should have known better. Monica, number 19.